am Isha Madhuratta, Assistant Professor in LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. I am your instructor and will be teaching you engineering physics. Today, I will be taking you to a new world that is the world of physics. In our beautiful planet Earth, there are many events which take place daily. Some of these events we see, we do and we experience. Have you ever thought what is behind these events? What is that which makes these events happen? Miracles apart, the answer to them is physics. Physics is there in our day-to-day -day life. In all the activities and actions we do, physics is involved. Let me start this journey by giving you some examples which we experience daily. So starting with acoustics. What do you mean by acoustics? It is known as the study of sound. What is this? This is a thing which wakes us every morning. Though its sound seems to be irritating, but do you know physics is behind it. It explains properties and propagation of sound. Starting from the ultrasonic machine which is used to measure heartbeat to sonar which is used for communication between submarines, sound is involved. Next, coming on to heat. When you put water to boil while making tea or coffee, you can see the vapor when water starts boiling. The property which leads to this increase in temperature is known as heat. Heat finds its application in industry in melting of metals, fabrication of automobiles, in our day-to-day -day life, we use an electric iron to iron our clothes. Physics is also involved behind it because this is an if this is an application of heat. Coming on to friction, what is this? While pushing an object, we do not slip or the object doesn't object doesn't slip because of the friction. While skating, again the person is protected because there is a friction involved. This is the friction which is used for the designing of tires, braking system in automobiles. It is also used for welding of metals in industries. Looking to some more aspects of physics, force. When we try to push or pull a door, we apply a force to it. And this force with respect to area is called stress. The effects of stress are called strain, which are tension, compression, bending, torsion and shear. Force and its effect are also important in defining various activities and industrial applications like cantilever beam which is used in the designing of flyovers and underbridges. Next is heavy weight lifting machines like a crane. It is also used in designing of shafts and propellers. Moving further, magnetism. Have you ever noticed the magnetic compass needle always points in the north direction. This is because the north and the south pole of the earth, they attract each other. Magnetism finds its application in daily routine, starting from the debits and credit cards we use, to the loudspeakers, the magnetic hard disks which uses magnetism to store data. Magnetism is also used in high speed trains like a maglev train. Optics. What is optics? It is known as the study of light. You all might have seen a rainbow. What is the principle which is responsible for rainbow? It is the dispersion of white light that is responsible for a rainbow. Light also has many applications starting from laser to medical applications. Light also is involved in industrial applications wherein it is used to weld drill or cut metals. The fiber optic cable which is used for communication also uses light. Moving further, electronics. This is a smartphone which has become our best friend in these days. Moving on to household appliances like a television, an air conditioner, a microwave, to the motherboard of your computers, even the laptop you are using to watch this video involves physics. 
because that explains the interaction of electricity and hardware. Coming on to atoms. What is an atom? It is the smallest particle ever which defines matter. So atom together, many atoms together form molecules. Molecules together lead to matter. Even a human body is made up of thousands of small particles which are called atoms. Be it dust or be it the entire earth, it is made up of millions and trillions of atoms together. So, keeping all these examples in mind, I hereby define physics. It is derived from the Greek word thesis, which means nature, and physique, which means knowledge of nature. Physics is a fundamental science which defines nature, which defines the universe and all the actions which take place daily. Physics is a fundamental science which involves all seen and unseen events. So keeping all these examples in mind, we can thus conclude how important it is to study physics. Thank you.